Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a human rights advocate and community leader. He is on a mission to inspire and educate the masses about the power of self-love mm -hmm. and acceptance. Please welcome back down to the circle, Bishop Oliver Clyde Allen the Third. Yes. yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm on Sister Circle. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm in here. <laughs> Down to the circle. Now, Bishop, your church, uh, the Vision Church and Cathedral, and Cathedral of Atlanta, yes, has yes, been yes, held yes. as the South's fastest growing inclusive ministries. First yes. of all, congratulations Thank on you. that. That's Thank awesome. You. Um, it has grown tremendously over the years. Now, when you think back about when you started, um, how does it make you feel to know that it has grown mm -hmm. so much in such a, a progressive way? Mm -hmm. You know, I have to say that I'm, I'm incredibly humbled, first of all, mm -hmm. to be here, of course. Yes. But I, I am humbled every week when I turn down the street to go to church. I'm, I'm amazed to see that people, number one, are, are oftentimes so hungry to be fed and nurtured and to grow and to experience God. I think when we first started, you know, the world was very different. Mm -hmm. we, you know, it's still, there's a lot of division. But when we first started, it was very mm -hmm. unique to have an inclusive mm -hmm. church yes. for anybody and everybody. Right. Yes. Right. And I wasn't completely convinced that uh, it would grow the way it has. Yeah. And we're such a diverse church. We have a yes. little bit of everybody, which I, I learned that you know, everyone understands love. Everyone wants love. Absolutely. People want acceptance no matter who they are. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm humbled and amazed. That's oh, amazing work. <laughs> it's so good. Speaking yes. of that, you've been working on this ministry and in human rights for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. So, but tell us about how the church, yours in particular, because it has one of the largest LGBTQ communities here, yeah. period. Yeah. So how, how has the acceptance of the community helped your church progress even more? Well, I, I think, again, you know, it goes to show when you have a vision, no matter how unique it is, mm -hmm. you have to stay the course, right? Uh, the world was very different when we started and as we progressed, I, I, I found out that, um, you know, being consistent and being focused on your passion over time will yield results. Mm -hmm. People from all walks of life understood that this space was not just for uh, a safe space, if you will, mm -hmm. trying to create a safe space, but a bold space mm -hmm. to have a voice and to help other people find their voice. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, as you help LGBT folk find their voice, then it impacts their families. Their yes. families mm -hmm. come, yes. their children come, yes. uh, their spouses come to the space. And so I think it's been a great honor to be able to do this work. That's great, yeah. that's great. Now you've not only been doing great work in the church arena, but you got politics is very much in your skin. So I, let me run down some of the things that you have been doing. In 2015, you were appointed by President Barack Obama to the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV AIDS. You currently serve as, as the Southeastern Chair of the Democratic National Committee, LGBT Advisory Board under Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, and the National Ambassador and Consultant for the NAACP Black Church and HIV Initiative. And of course, you have a foundation, Vision Community Foundation, that annually feeds more than 20,000 families in the community. Let's give it up. Absolutely. For a mouthful there, do you have plans to run for office? This really sounds like the setup is real. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 You know, I think um, my pulpit is what I would consider my bully pulpit. That is where I, I express my voice. Uh, and, you know, I try to do it wherever I'm at, whether I'm in the White House. I, mean, I was in the White House. Uh, or just wherever, whatever space God has given me an opportunity, I try to raise my voice and advocate for everybody, mm -hmm. not just the LGBTQI plus community, but black folk, white folk, mm -hmm. Latino folk, immigrants, no matter who they are, we all deserve, we all deserve advocacy, someone yes. to advocate for us for our rights and for our ability yes. to, as this conference is called, to elevate yes. into our vision and our, pur our purpose. I always tell people, you know, if you don't live in your truth, you'll die in your lie. Oh, message. Good. <laughs> Say it again. And if you don't live in your truth, no matter who but you die are, in your live life. in mm. your truth so that you don't have to die in your lie. Yes. We all have a truth, right? Yes. We all have a passion, we have a vision, we have a destiny. And we're on the earth to do that. That's what yes. I love about this circle, mm -hmm. this space that shows the world, that shows the viewer that you can fulfill your dream. You got to stay focused. You got to be passionate. You got to stay hungry. Yes. But it is possible. Yes. That's what it's about. Oh, my God. Well, one thing 
yes, that is possible. We're going to get a second chance around with this one. Is the I Elevate National Conference? Yes, 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 yes. yes, 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 yes this is the yes, second yes, yes. year. Yes. Tell us who do you have coming? Mm -hmm. What are some special? Who's who are some special? I'm guests? so excited. We have Bevy Smith, Lonnie Love, yes. Reverend Al Sharpton. Mm. We have Amaya Scott. But guess what? Guess what? Yes. We also have the Sister Circle. Oh! Oh! Yes! excited about just having a room full of influencers, um, entrepreneurs, business leaders, politicians, pastors, leaders, community folks, activists, people coming together. This is about unity and about elevation. Yes. First of all, we've got to send this message that we're all in this together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But we also, I believe, know that there are people that live beneath their potential. Mm -hmm. And so this is about creating this bold space that can nurture the potential within uh, ourselves and give that to the community so we can hear your stories about how did you elevate, how did you yes. become successful. That's yes. what this is about. We're so proud of your work. I'm so glad that you listened to the call on your life because oh. because of you and your obedience, you've set so many people free. Oh. Yes, That's seriously. I'm honored. So thank I'm you honored. so much for what you're doing. Can thank we give it up? Yes, yes. yes. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to register for the I Elevate Conference, please actually do so. You can do that by going to I Elevate Conference. Org. That's right. One more time for Bishop yes. Allen. Yes.